It's not a simulation. They're bald, they're blue, and they are entertaining, but this is not the blue man group you think you know. The Boston production's undergone a major refresh. Yeah, the show started adding new elements just a few months ago, and they aim to put current conversations in the spotlight. Feels to me, this iteration of the show feels as exciting as, as when I first started doing the show because it feels like it's it's catching the moment. Blue Man Captain Jason McLynn may have been wearing the paint for more than two decades, but he thinks this may be the best Blue Man yet. I think that there's a push now to um, always be thinking about where we are, what we want to say, what's happening in the, in the culture as it were, and to be trying to get faster at having pieces that, that uh, have something to say about that. Something to say without uttering a single word. As you know, the blue men don't speak, so uh, music plays an integral part in the show of helping shape the story. Uh, create tension and drama and, and release. Music director and Blue Man drummer Randy Wooten leads the trio that plays the live, often improvised soundtrack. The show is constantly evolving. Even the, even the previous material, we would always be tweaking and adding new elements, um, whether they be musical elements or uh, theatrical elements, lighting elements, video elements. Um, but really the biggest upgrade we've had since I've been here. It's an ongoing process. You'll get an idea and get it to a place where this is, this is workable and then we play with it a little bit. Maybe, maybe you put one of those ideas in the show even though we're working on two or three other ones. About half the show is brand new. It's a whole new energy in the show, uh, especially for the second half is, is where the majority of the new content is in the second half and just the energy of the space. I think there's more elements in the show where we're bringing audience members on the stage um, and they're participating in a piece. It's explicit that we're, we're doing this thing together. It's not just us and you're viewing it. It's a collective, collective experience. And it tackles topics that many of us are already talking about. We kind of have our, our say on kind of AI and what does that mean, you know, without putting a judgment value on it, just again, kind of in blue man style, we sort of say like, if this is what we're agreeing to as a culture, as a society, how we want to live and be in relationship, it, does this work? Are, does, is, should, we, should we be doing this? We have, still have some of the really greatest hits, as we'll sort of call them, pieces that people, I think, really love. And um, so those are still there, and then we sort of wrap it around this new, really invigorated content that feels current. If you saw the show 20 years ago, it's going to be very different. If you saw the show 10 years ago, it's still going to be very different. But you will still feel that common thread of what you really enjoyed about Blue Man when you first saw it.